Now to the latest on the presidential transition. President-elect Joe Biden is throwing his support behind a compromise proposal in Congress that would spend nearly a trillion dollars to help businesses and workers feeling the strain of the pandemic. CBS4's Natalie Brand has the latest from the White House. Dr. Anthony Fauci tells CBS News he'll be meeting with members of President-elect Joe Biden's transition team today to discuss vaccines and the incoming administration's COVID response. We feel hopeless. President-elect Biden spoke with workers impacted by the economic fallout of the pandemic Wednesday. They sounded the alarm about federal benefits set to expire the day after Christmas. It just hurts us when we hear people that don't have any issues, politicians that are doing just fine when they say, oh, they, they don't need that extra money. They're just lazy. Mr. Biden expressed support for the $908 billion bipartisan proposal unveiled in the Senate this week. We need, need relief now. So I've been urging our congressional Republicans to work on a bipartisan emergency package now. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin says President Trump supports a smaller bill that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has proposed. I put forward a serious and highly targeted relief proposal, including the elements which we know the president is ready and willing to sign into law. The president himself has been focused on the election, posting a video full of baseless claims about voter fraud. The results of the individual swing states must be overturned and overturned immediately. CBS News has confirmed President Trump had a tense meeting with Attorney General William Barr Tuesday after Barr said the DOJ has not found evidence of widespread fraud that would change the outcome of the election. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. All right. Now